is that it really is a, a first in, uh, in class type of cell mod agent. It sort of builds upon um, the platform originally uh, established with the 220 uh, uh, compound that um, is now called ibertamide. But 480 is a sort of notch up from it as a highly potent uh, novel Cerebron E3 ligase uh, modulator. So these are the cell mods. They are distinct from the image. They're quite, uh, quite importantly different. Um, and they're designed for the rapid and maximal degradation of target proteins. And critically, that's Icaros and ALOS. Um, and I think uh, as you think about these drugs, the importance of how they engage with the E3 ligase complex is, is, is very important to appreciate. And it's the size of the molecule that sort of sets it apart. And, and what I mean by that is um, that it, 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 in terms of the image themselves, like lenalidomide and pomalidomide, these are relatively small molecules. Um, whilst 480 is in, still in the small molecule class as a broad concept, it's a larger molecule and it engages into the binding site more comprehensively. And this result in, and, in the, and it was also specifically designed for this. It was built to do what it does. Whereas in fact, um, the history behind the immunomodulatory drugs is more accidental, if you, were, if you will. They were sort of observed to do this and their mechanism was sort of understood later versus earlier. So we're now we're in a very different place where we know exactly how the immunomodulatory drugs work. The cell mods have been built as a sort of distinct group that go that much further and engage the target that much more efficiently.